We normally ask people, you know, if they've created an app or they've got a technology that they'd like to show, they'd like to come up and quickly do a five minute demo. And Keith uh, has recently, I don't even know where he is, Keith, uh, has uh, done some work on a um, tool called Vendor, which has had some discussion on the <laughs> email list, which has been fantastic. Um, and as always, I'm always blown away by the quality of the discussions on the Cocoa Heads AU mailing list. You know, it doesn't uh, d degenerate to a, you know, you're an idiot or no, I think you're stupid kind of thing. Um, well, not yet anyway. But uh, it, it's always really encouraging to see those kind of really um, interesting conversations about technologies that, that are actually quite useful to, to, I think, what most of us uh, do every day. So, Keith, do you want to quickly come out and plug your laptop in? And we had another presentation. Is there another one? Yes, it was Aaron. Aaron, do you, actually, do you want to come up now? All right. Hey, guys. My name's Aaron. Um, I've been an iPhone developer for a couple of months, probably since halfway through the year. Is that going to work? It is going to work. Fantastic. Um, I'm a, currently a uni student doing a placement at Deloitte Online, working in, the, in their mobility team. And as part of my um, uni work, I did a lot of um, work with students, helping them learn pretty basic. Oh, I've got a microphone yeah. as well. Um, basic programming skills. So you know, I'd, uh, I'd run help classes for people to learn HTML, VB.net. Don't cringe. Um, Java and PHP. And when I started app development, I kind of wanted to release my own app and go through the process of develop, designing, developing, releasing it into the app store. So I thought, maybe I can marry the two, the two things that I do well, teaching people how to code and, um, and, and making iPhone apps. So I came up with this concept of um, dev PHP, um, or the dev at range. So these apps are designed to help people learn a, a range of languages, and my first one is PHP. So people can go through and learn different facts. So they can learn the syntax of different, different you know, look at the data types, so look into at arrays, go through, look, look at some code examples, do a practice question, get it right or wrong. Oh, that's right, cool. <laughs> and um, there's obviously a few language learning apps in the marketplace already, as I'm sure a lot of you know. Um, but usually a lot of them just stick to basic facts. Um, they just teach people how to use the language. They don't actually test their knowledge. So what I, what I wanted to do was write a testing engine that would, every, every time the user wanted to take, to, um, take a test, um, the testing engine would dynamically generate a bunch of questions, randomise them, randomise the answers, and, um, and give them the best ex testing experience possible. So students can go in and select topics that they want to revise. Um, it goes up to 20 questions, or they can go in and um, do an intermediate or, or, di or different difficulty test. Um, so they can look at a code snippet, see if that, what the output might be, and answer the question, go along, go along, I won't do all of them because we'll be here all day. Um, submit, prompts you if you get questions wrong, and um, I got none of them right. Um, so yeah, the basic premise behind this is to help students learn um, programming languages. And I wrote the program in such a way that it will be quite easy to plug in information about other languages, so HTML, CSS, Java, those types of things. So that's what I'm hoping to do in the next couple of months, is, uh, is release some apps for, for those languages as well. So it's definitely been uh, an enlightening experience. I don't know how many of you have actually gone through the process of releasing something on the App Store. Um, it is, for me, it was longer than I thought it would be. Um, the wait was about two weeks before, by the time they got around to, I uploaded the binary to the time where they reviewed my app. But um, definitely, definitely a great experience. So yeah, that's my app. Um, there's the light version and the normal version. Normal version is 99 cents. Light is obviously free. Comes with uh, less questions and no practice questions. No ads though. So there's no ads in either version. And that's my app. Yeah. Uh, anyone here use Bundler and Ruby on Rails? Um, cool. Well, I essentially wrote that for iOS. Uh, I'm just going to show you it working. And if you want to know more, you can just come find me afterwards. Let's start with Xcode. Create a project called um, Don't Hate Vendor. <laughs> Just joking. Um, Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is, but. Sorry. All right, sort of create this project. This is just a blank project with nothing in it. Sort of close it down. 
I'm going to go to it. It's on the desktop. Can everyone see that okay? I'll make that bigger. Type vendor init. That'll create me menu file. Right menu file. Let's get rid of that crap. Some libraries that I think you'll probably use. Uh, ASI HTTP request. Is that right? Whoops. Request. Yeah. Is that right? All right, I'm going to save that and type vendor install. And then I'll download the packages from a site that I made and then figure out all the dependencies and figure out any conflicts within those dependencies and install them into uh, your Xcode project. So if I open that back up again, you'll notice that there's two new folders, frameworks and vendor. Inside vendor, there's a whole bunch of stuff. If I go over here, there's a whole bunch more stuff. And if I hit compile, I have to go to this and go, whoops, the wrong language. <laughs> Require JSON kit. It compiles. So it's copied across a whole bunch of libraries, set up a whole bunch of dependencies, put them in your project, and you're ready to rock and roll. Uh, that's an ender. Um, I've got a, I support about 30 libraries at the moment. You can create your own. You go to this site. You can upload your own. You can compile your own, uh, sorry, package your own little libraries up and distribute them. It's just like GitHub, or VendorForge, or SourceForge, uh, uh, you know, like those sites. So if you want to know more, come find me. That's uh, VendorForge and Vendor.